Welcome to Boots Buy. My name's William, and today I'm talking about five methods the military uses to lace their boots. Going over what the Army does, paratroopers, Navy, Marines, and the Canadian Air Force. We're going to talk about how they lace their boots. I'm going to show you before, after, what these are good for, uh, and how you can use them, whether you're in the military or just walking around town. Let's get into it. So the first method of lacing your boots is the army method. This is what they do in the army. And the main benefit, as you can see here with these pictures, the main benefit of this lacing style is that if you're walking through brush, your laces are always protected by the leather of the boot. I'm using the Thursday presidents here. Uh, these are not military boots, but they kind of look similar. So uh, I just figured I'd use them. They're one of my favorite pairs of boots. I don't have army boots, so. That's why. So the first thing I did is I just put the laces through these top eyelets and left this outer one. This is kind of exposed right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the left and I'm gonna go under and diagonal right there. And then on this one, the opposite, I'm going under and diagonal. So now we basically got it started. Looks just like this. And then from here, it's a very, very simple lacing. I'm going to go straight into the next eyelet up and in like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side as well. Up and in. Then again, I'm going from the left to the right, diagonal across from the inside of the boot. And I'm gonna go now the right to the left on top, inside to out, bloop like that, kind of tighten these up. And then same thing, going just up one eyelet and in. On the other side, up one eyelet and in. Now these boots have speed hooks, so I would just go ahead and lace them up like that, like you would normally would for any speed hooks. Um, if your army boots have speed hooks, well then you'll, you'll know what to do with that. But that is BAM, type number one, the army lacing method. The second method I'm gonna show you is called the paratrooper method. And we're actually gonna start off a little bit differently. Instead of going from the top down, we're gonna go from the inside out and get this in the first, uh, first eyelet here. Now the best reason to use the paratrooper method or why paratroopers use this method is this is super secure. As you can see from these photos, the way that laces up, it basically locks your heel into place provides a lot of support on the instep so that when you land, you hit the ground running, your ankle's not gonna roll because when you're going at those speeds, you're basically hitting the ground at a full sprint and that could do a lot of damage to your ankle if your foot isn't secure in your boot. So that's why they use this method. So this is super secure. And if you're having trouble with your boots being loose at all, maybe you got them a half size too big or something like that, give this a shot, see what, see what happens. But yeah, so I started off, put the eyelets there, made sure they line up. And the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of like the army method. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go to the next eyelet up and I'm just gonna loop this around like that. Cool. So I got that, I'll tighten it up a little bit. Boop, 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 very good. And rather than going through any eyelets, I'm gonna go in to the lace loop that I just created. And I'm gonna do the same for the other side. and I'm gonna tighten that up. So now I'm just gonna kind of repeat that process here, like stick with the side I was on, go into the next eyelet up, on this side, next eyelet up, tighten it up, and then continue to go through those little lace loops that I'm making right there. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Again, as you can see, this is super secure on top. The more I tighten that up, that just really keeps the instep in place. So that is why you would use the paratrooper method. Downside is uh, you cannot really cut the laces off. I know that's something that happens in the military. They'll cut your laces off. Uh, this makes it a little bit harder. So if you injure your foot, it's harder to get the laces off. But that is number two, the paratrooper method. The third method I'm gonna show you is called the Navy method. And it basically goes like a corkscrew. Uh, this one is pretty easy to learn. Now, there's a few tricks you got to do. You got to make sure you do a couple things so that it turns out good in the end. I went in from the top down and created this solid bar across the top. Now, 
The lace in my right hand is significantly shorter than the amount of lace in my left hand. So you need to make sure that there's an imbalance there. And honestly, there's like a good, uh, you can't see it because it's like up here, but there's basically 12 inches difference between the right side of the lace and the left side of the lace. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off I'm looking at the, the right side of the boot here. I'm gonna start off and I'm going to go all the way from the bottom to the top most eyelet. Again, this has speed hooks. So I'm not gonna worry about that, but I'm going from the bottom all the way to the top and it looks just like that. Cool. So now I'm there and this is just gonna hang out off to the side. So I'm gonna do the, most of my work with this, uh, this left side and I'm gonna start off and basically just go under right here, starting uh, diagonal, go under, bloop like that, and then go straight all the way across the front. And I'm just going to continue that motion, going diagonal from right to left, tightening it up, going around the other side, almost like a corkscrew, just like you would do, kind of creates a corkscrew motion and it's very, very easy, very, very simple. Creates these cool looking bars. When you get to the end of the boot, uh, it kind of gets a little tricky because, you know, there's no more eyelet to go in over here. So then I will just, you'll be on the inside and I just go in, you know, uh, I guess right here. And then you have both eyelets out. At this point, you could, you could speed hook it. I guess I'll tighten this up. Make sure they're nice and tight. At this point, tighten that right there. At this point, you could speed hook it, or you could, um, like in this this other version right here, I just kind of tied it around the front, and that was done and done. That right there is the Navy method. The next method I'm going to show you, the fourth method, is the Marine Corps method, and it starts off. It's pretty simple. It's basically just a crisscross applesauce, just like they do it in the Marines. They always say that whenever they're tying their boots, they say, let's tie our shoes crisscross applesauce. They don't say that, I'm pretty sure. I'll probably get some comments. Let me know if you guys actually, if you're in the Marines and you sing that, let me know in the comments below. I'd be pretty curious to hear that. All right, so I went top down. Now I'm gonna start, you always want left over right. So I'm gonna start off on the right side of the boot and I'm gonna go under and uh, you know, making sure that the left goes over the right and I'm going underneath just like that. And I'm gonna repeat that motion starting with the right side of the boot, going underneath and going the left over right underneath. So I'm just gonna repeat that, making sure that this is nice and tight as I go and do it again. So this is a pretty simple method. A lot of Marines boots uh, have tons of speed hooks. Basically they might only have two eyelets right here and then the rest all the way up. So like an eight inch boot is all speed hooks. Um, you're gonna just basically do the same method through the speed hooks. And a lot of times, um, you know, I've seen guys in the Marines, what they do is they will tie a knot like this at the end of their lace so that when it gets up to the top of the speed hook, uh, when they're unlacing their boots, that catches on the actual speed hook so that if they, their boots never come unlaced. They always just stay, it all stays laced so they can loosen up their boot as much as they want all the way fit their foot in, get their foot out, all that stuff. Uh, but that makes it hard, you know, I can't lace it up like this. So I'm gonna finish this off right here, going again, left over right on the inside, and then finish it off with the speed hooks. A little bit different with an actual pair of Marine boots, but this is how the Marines do it. This is great for air softing, paintballing, uh, going for hikes, anything like that. It's very simple standard racing method. And now the fifth and final method I'm gonna show you is the Canadian Air Force method. This is super similar to the Marine Corps method, but it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you exactly, here's what it looks like when it's all finished, and here's how you do it. So you start off with a bridge on top, and you, we've done that a couple times, so I'm not gonna go over that. But start off with a bridge, and then again, you want left over right. So I'm gonna start off by going from the right side of the boot, and I'm gonna go across diagonally, and I'm gonna go into the opposing eyelet from the top down, like so. So now the Marine Corps method, I was going, I was going into this eyelet from underneath. 
Uh, this method, the Canadian Air Force, I'm going above, uh, going above and under. So like that, and I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. And this will create, because I started on the right side of the boot, this will create the left lace going over the right. So again, I'm gonna repeat that same thing, making sure that this lace is out of the way so that I could have left over right. I'm going up over the boot and into the eyelet like that. And repeating on the other side. As you can see, there is a lot of exposed laces right here. So unlike the Army method or the Marine Corps method, basically you're allowing a lot of friction to happen here around the eyelets. You're allowing friction to happen in the middle. And also if you know, you're brushing up against rocks or anything like that, that's, that could cause a lot of fraying right here. And this is honestly, of all the methods, this one's gonna make your laces kind of wear down the fastest, but it's also helps you adjust the level of tightness a lot faster than any of the methods as well. So that would be one reason to go with the Canadian Air Force is if you got a new pair of work boots or a new pair of boots and you're breaking them in and you need to adjust the tightness here and there, that's why you would use the Canadian Air Force method. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. Both are super helpful for the channel and I really, really appreciate it. Also, you can comment below, let me know which one was your favorite style, which one you're gonna try out, how it works out for you. Thank you again for watching and until next time, put your best boot forward.